Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this episode of The Dan Dawson Show. So I have good news and I have bad news. The good news is Joe Biden's not insane. The bad news is Joe Biden's not insane. Let me tell you why. I was really thinking about this, right? Imagine, if you will, that your living situation is you live with your drunk sister-in-law and her crazy husband. You have four daughters who are causing trouble in the neighborhood, who have no idea what they're talking about ever. You have a son who has the most ridiculous ideas, but he's your only son, so you got to back him up. And your wife says the most ridiculous things and makes the worst moves ever. You're going to want to spend time in your basement. So I was really thinking about this. I was like, now I know why Joe spends so much time in his basement. You have your crazy sister and her husband. She's always drunk. He always says stupid shit, but he always backs her up. It's crazy. <clears throat> like when, uh, that would be Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer. They say things like, we'll do whatever we have to do. And we're going to expand the, expand the Supreme Court if Trump appoints somebody. And I have arrows in my quiver. And Joe... When asked that question, if he would expand the Supreme Court, if he were elected president, couldn't even answer. He's like, I'm not answering that question. So if you look at him, he's asked the look of a defeated man. And then your son, who you love and cherish, he's your only son, goes out and says something ridiculous like, I'm going to take your AR-15s. And you being his father, back him up. And then you realize when the pandemic hit and your loony kids started defunding the defund the police movement. Millions of people went out and bought guns. Can you imagine that? And so now you're looking, and those are votes you're probably not going to get. So just to recap, we have the crazy sister and her husband, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer. We have his crazy son, Beto O'Rourke. Now let's move along to the crazy daughters. Your daughters are running around sympathizing with Muslims and terrorists. Your daughters are saying, we got to burn the system down. Your daughters are saying the most ridiculous things and you start to realize your daughters are airheads. Your daughters come out and say things like some people did something in relation to 911, merely a few weeks before the 911 uh, anniversary. Your other daughter is sitting on a rooftop somewhere drinking wine, not knowing what the hell's going on. So in Joe Biden's defense, what do you do with that? You have one daughter who shaved her head and they say it's a cancer thing and I get that. I understand it. I, I completely get it. And it's just going insane. It's saying the most ridiculous stuff. Your other daughter, Presley, got seen going insane and have to be carried out of a Trump rally before she was ever elected to office. You would stay in your basement too. I would. And then if that's not good enough, you have your crazy, I'm going to call her sister-in-law, your daughter's aunt, starting to leave rallies. It would be Elizabeth Warren saying, fight, fight, fight. And you know that's going to lead to more trouble and turmoil. So from Joe's point of view, the reason he's standing in his basement, he's just kind of like your average guy with all that. Imagine you got all that going on, right? All he can do is sit in his basement and do this. I would turn it into a study and just put a nice TV in there, a nice desk, some good books to read, and put a dead bolt on the inside and just never leave. If I were Joe, that's what I would do. I think any person would. Because he sees this party has turned to term oil. And there's really, honestly... No hope for it. No hope. The um, It's just, and he's seen it. He's seen it. And it's like, whoa. Just like, I just wanted to be president. Y'all have messed that up for me. 73 years old. When I'm, <laughs> it's, this is my last shot. <clears throat> and then you get, because uh, I say it on Facebook a lot, People who are just regurgitating whatever they hear come from The View, Don Lemon, the Democrat Party, they just regurgitate it like it's their own words, and really it's not. Because I say it on 
like I said in the earlier video, I see it on CNN or I see it on The View. I know it's going to come out of one of my liberal friend's mouths in a day or two. So, But yeah, that's what Joe's dealing with. How can one man handle all that? Hey, look, President Trump, take it easy on Joe, you know? If he is on drugs, can you really believe? Can you really blame him? Can you really blame him? See, but that goes that goes with that. As I was saying in an earlier video, that permissive parenting, where you just let the kids do whatever they want. Look at uh, AOC plus three, the horrible four, whatever they're called, horrible hoochies. I don't know. And they've been allowed to run amok in Joe's house. That would be the Democrat Party, and now he has no control over. Him. Now look at the other side of Trump's house. When Trump got elected, remember he wasn't a Republican. He wasn't a Republican politician, at least. But look how he straightened that house out. And he put his foot down. These are all, right now our political system is a great barometer of parental techniques. Trump came in like a bull in a Chinese shop, put his foot down. This is my house. These are my rules. This is what's going to happen. Biden was like, no, do what you want, do, do, do. And now we have people in the streets, people going to people's houses, burning them down, people burning down businesses. And you have um, AOC, Elizabeth Warren, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, Don Lemon said this on TV. If he appoints a Supreme Court judge, we got to burn it down. Well, what do you think people who are less capable of thinking are going to think he means? When they use words like radicalize, revolution, you're inciting people. Last time I checked, that was a crime. There's a reason that's a crime. I mean, the Democratic Socialist Party has just gotten out of control. It represents, it represents so much of what the Nazis stood for and even uses their techniques. And I really don't think that's an incident. So for all you people who said, if I were in Germany, there's no way I would have joined the Nazis. If you're supporting the Democrat Party right now and you're one of these people in the streets rioting, protesting, or you're on your little Facebook promoting their propaganda without having a thought for yourself, you are actually a Nazi. You would have felt for what Hitler was giving you. Look at their policies. I said it before and I'll cover again here real quick. A socialist workforce where everybody's paid equally. Nazi. Taking away your guns. Nazi. Brainwashing your children in, in the schools. Nazi. Trying to make everything f or making you think healthcare and all your food and everything's free. Nazi. All these are... Nazi propagandists and they're telling you right now we want to burn down the system for our own purposes so don't fall for it thank you for watching this episode of the Dan Dawson show make sure you tune in to the next one